bike man for you what's going on ladies and children of all ages we got a show today you got a plan make it make your plan work your plan god bless you joseph e Pen uh that was my father-in-law that was his saying so today's live show welcome to the bike man for you show by the way today's live show is all about e s b what does that stand for welcome bmx boy good morning how are you fantastic it's a beautiful day out there a little chilly not too bad this morning was freezing you had a little ride in though. yeah no. but i had my uh, so it was fine nice did you happen to notice my nice jacket did you happen to notice is that this? new no it's not new. it's coming up close to 20 years old See the <laughs> oh, it's two thousand four. Oh wow, Jesus! Okay. ESB. ESB. Where does it stand for? Service bicycles. Okay, what's uh, that? Well, why is it so quiet? I don't know. I thought I heard something. I know. Yeah, son of so, it, so, I don't know what's going on so back I. there. Oh, was it? Emergency bicycles and more? Yeah. All right. So, same thing. That's okay. It's all good. We're just abbreviating it. Yeah. We're, we're, in a different you know, way. Making it, making it better. I'm looking for my glasses in there in my hand. They're not on my head. Silly me. Nice uh, before we get going for today and uh, we go all about what we're doing here and where it's going on, uh, today's broadcast is brought to you by Surly Bicycle Products different racks and they make some bikes and they make some stuff and they are today's proud sponsor over this rack and what we're doing with this rack there's also a nice rear one i Super love that rack uh, so that consequently you can cut it you can weld it you can solder it you can modify it uh it's a bicycle rack that is made for heavy dutiness uh 80 pounds this thing can handle this happens to be a front rack we also got the rear rack. Surly Bicycle Products. Check them out. They are today's proud sponsor of the Bike Man Review. So, E Emergency Service Bicycles, they've been around for a little bit. They're starting to really take a hold. Um, there are a lot of talk about them, and a lot of different agencies and organizations are starting to go towards uh, using a bicycle for their patrols, for EMS calls, for special operations, for a lot of stuff. And we're going to go over all of that kind of stuff today on today's live show. Also today on our live show, we have air contest results uh, for the broad axe. We'll pull down the broad axe in a minute. Uh, it is done and complete. we got to make a couple more changes to it. Uh, we got to change the spokes in the front wheel. We haven't done that yet. We need to make it match. Yeah. Thanks for ruining my Saturday. Oh, stop. It's not that bad. I know. So, uh, anyway, I myself have been in the up. emergency services business. Actually, I've been a member of the West Hampton Beach Fire Department for coming close to 20 years. Uh, I was, I wanted to wear this jacket for you guys. It's my firefighter of the year jacket. I don't wear it very often because it's extremely warm. Uh, they really, they gave me a nice jacket in 1997. What's that thing made of? It's uh, leather sleeves. It's, you know, it's like your college type of football type of Ooh. jersey. Jacket type of thing. Letterman? Yeah, yeah, you know, like, you know, a college type of thing, you know, to, you know, whatever. But I was firefighter of the year back in 1997. You were such a jock. Uh, I was, I was, I was, uh, I was into it. I still am into it. Uh, still being a member, uh, interior firefighter, I'm still certified for that. Uh, and gone through all of the training and classes of our volunteer fire department. All of Suffolk County, New York is volunteer. <laughs> And uh, I'm going to take this thing off now, if that's okay. And, uh, and, and we, we all go by a volunteer uh, status, but we are trained. We are trained heavily. Uh, search and rescue uh, in fire buildings and this kind of thing. Our fire department does not run any ambulance calls or any of that kind of stuff. But we do do the heavy rescue. We work in conjunction with the ambulance crew and, uh, and how... Uh, and, we work closely together uh, in a heavy rescue situation where we come in with tools and cutters and this and that and all that. And I've been involved in the fire service for come on, close to 20 years, wow. uh, which is a long time. Uh, and uh, I enjoy it. And, you know, you get a lot of satisfaction when you... It's fun. It's camaraderie between the men as well. But it's also you get a lot of satisfaction when, you know, you see somebody come up to you and, they're tr you, and they look you right in the eyes and they're really, really, truly... And, you know... You 
we, I'll give you one instance, all right? One, one scenario. That it, it, and this, it's a real simple one and whatnot, but the ladies, she had like a vestibule in between the garage and the house. And in between the garage and the house was like laundry room. Okay. And her dryer caught on fire. So it was separate from the house. I mean, it could have been a disaster, really bad. And when we got there, the black smoke is billowing out of this building between the garage and the, it was kind of connected. You get where I'm getting? Yeah, 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 yeah. It came across as a garage fire, but really wasn't a garage fire. It was the, garage, the fire in between the, uh, in between the house and the garage. The black smoke is billowing out. It had its own door and whatnot. And she's, oh my, blah, blah, blah. And she's scared to death and she's screaming and hollering. Get her out of the way. Boom, we get in there, make an entry, put the fire out. It was a one, two, three. But then when you're all done and you're packing up and there she is, and she knows we saved the house, and she looks you straight in the eye, and she says, thank you so much. And the tears are running down her eyes, and you're like, lady, this is what we do. You are so welcome. And that is what really, what it, it really comes home when you know you saved this lady's house. Thank God nobody was hurt, and nobody, you know, but it's really, it's, it's very satisfying to have that when you have that. It's just, it's kind of neat. Must be nice. It is, it's neat. It's a neat, it's a good feeling. That's good. Uh, we, I, I've been in the fire service when there Hellfires here. Over on um, yeah, where we had you know, eighty-five right? million acres. It wasn't eighty-five million acres. Well, somewhere around ten thousand acres. I want to guess maybe five thousand, five, five, ten thousand acres. Uh, it was a considerable fire that uh, back in the nineties, and uh, every fire department. And I was real new in the department. I remember there. that. And I learned uh, a lot, and I learned a lot of camaraderie. And again, the community came out. They gave us a parade, and it went on and on and on. And it was it was really cool. So anyway, today we are working in conjunction with the campus police. We've been building some bicycles uh, and some different things to fine tune this thing a little bit. And we're going to share it with you guys today. Woo! Isn't that exciting? It is. It is exciting. Uh, I, uh, I've been getting a kick out of doing this build. Uh, and it's going to be a build that's probably going to constantly be changing. Uh, Cops on bikes, EMTs on bikes, uh, special operations and rescue on bikes, parks police, housing police. There is a definite need for emergency service bicycles in the community. Uh, it is a great option. It's way better than any kind of a gator or a golf cart. There's no noise. The cost is a lot less, and uh, it's just better all the way around. And the only engine is you, and it's good for the health, it's good for the environment, it's good for a lot of things, and we'll get into some of that stuff. Without further ado, let's get into a little bit more of the details of what we're doing and how we're building that bicycle. Shall we, BMX boy? Sure thing. I just have a couple. I just have... Uh, oh, we got, oh, we got a bunch of people in? Anybody I got a bunch of comments, but uh, I got some uh, starting off with... Um, I can't say it. Z Fitty Fifty, <laughs> Z Fitty Fifty. Hello from Australia. Love your uh, channel. And then I guess the, the second you mentioned Surly, ten ten speed. Ten speed great. So he said, Surly, <laughs> like a bunch of exclamation points and stuff. So, so uh, thank you, ten speed. Uh, ten but that's speed just. But that the, uh, you that close on your guess, by the way. That Wolfie was, was saying he enjoys the. That's on the bike, I guess, you posted on okay. yeah, Instagram. Yeah, we're going to get into that in a minute. We're and uh, they're saying put yak oil on the rack and all that stuff. And, okay, okay, uh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's where I'm at so far with that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, let's get started. Let's wrap up these chairs. Let's get ourselves going. Let's get a rack out here, and uh, let's, get, let's get into the show. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Bike Man For You show, guys. Coming to you live from West Hampton Beach, Long Island, New York, the home of the rich and famous. Well... Rich so they wish. Rich and, rich and famous uh, vacation here. They don't necessarily live here, but you get the idea. Uh, I'm going to put my chair over here for today. We'll be back with that. We're going to need that back again after we get going. So just uh, bear with us here for a second while we get ourselves set up. Uh, you know, we're, we're a little bit hurting in terms of spaces. Well, it's so damn cold outside. It is so damn cold outside. We would be outside, but it's so damn cold out. So, you know. Oh my goodness! That is our loudness. That is a loud. That is a loud horn. You could have warned me that that thing was oh, ar no, no, was I, armed. I wanted to get your attention. That's what it's supposed my to. My heart hurts now. Your Come heart on. hurts. You want to hear the other mode of it? Yeah, sure. Go for it. Here it goes. Here comes the other one. Okay. It has two modes. This horn. 
That one's pretty annoying as well. Look, you can but call you know me a cat. If I was in the crowd and I had to get across, let's say we had this big concert going on, and there was a lot of people, and somebody went down right in the middle of this huge crowd. How does EMS get to them? The gator, the golf cart, the this, the that. Um, they might be way over, who, but if you got guys patrolling the outside on a bicycle ready, it could possibly save this poor, be- poor dude's life. It's in the middle of this concert mosh pit. Well, maybe not a mosh pit, but you know. Might be a mosh pit. You never know. You I know. Hope not. The who? You gotta gets, wait for your security oh. area before you go in. Oh, my guy's going into a mosh pit, you know, without, you know what I'm saying? Just go and swing. <laughs> it's fine. Well, don't you think that this will get them the heck out of the way? That is true. All right? So, we got the Hornet. Let me hit my rear kickstand down. Hornet. Horn it. Now, what is the, is the, the Hornet? Horn. Horn it's a it's real annoying it. freaking horn. The Horn it looks like this. Oh, dude, we only have one sure? oh, It's a battery operated horn, goes with two double A's, rechargeable. Mm. Um, it, it, it's a small unit. It can be mounted in a lot of different places. Let me see this thing. What the hell is it? Oh, what's the thing? It looks like a light, but it's not a light. It does. It does kind of look like a light. It's pretty nice. I like that thing. It's inexpensive. If it breaks, then we can replace it. Blah, blah, blah. You know, it's not a... There she is. There's the whole unit, and it is, you know, feather light. We... You're looking at this bicycle, and you're saying, well, that doesn't look... No, that's... This is not it. This is a surface... uh, uh, true 500 light, uh, but this is where we've, we've mounted it down and underneath here. There's a short cord that comes to a button that's right here. It's a, you know, a, a rubberized, it's all water resistant. It's got a wire that's approximately, I don't know, like two, a foot, maybe 18 inches that we can put. So it has to be fairly close to the handlebar, but I really like it. It's called the Horn It. H-O-R-N-I-T, a seriously loud cycle horn, uh, well past the standard in terms of decibels. Did you say, oh, oh. Did you say you had that? Oh, road mode and the two sounds. Yeah. All right, they're calling it road mode and then park mode. Uh, so, but that, 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 that chirping is just absolutely... Ear uh, splitting. Two AA batteries, it says it lasts... Six to 12 months for normal use, that equals six one-second blasts per day. How did they test that? But you know what, six to 12 months on two AA, ba- on two AAA, excuse me, AAA batteries, not AA, AAA. But how two often are you going to hold it down for a long period of time? Well, well, hey, if it's, you know. But what if you're on like a road bike and you're just commuting? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, it, it's probably, yeah. Yeah, I, you know, are, are you you're gonna be like Move! just holding at the, the you know? I think you would be using it as six one second blasts. Yeah. You know, beep, 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 beep. Get out the way! Exactly. Come on, move it. Beep beep. You yeah. know, not just rolling down the road, lasting it all day long. But you know, that's it. Hornet. Definitely a seriously loud horn. Okay. Uh, hey, all bi- right, so we covered our sounding device. Hey, bike man, quick thing. Yes, uh, Dennis Allport wants to know um, if you can explain. The rolling table in the background. I believe he's talking about the park. Oh, you like I guess he wants you to, uh, to uh, explain it. He wants me to explain the park table. The <laughs> park table, I don't think they do it anymore with the rolling part on it. Um, I think they might have had problems with it, but it's a standard park bench uh, made by Park Tools. And uh, what happens is that it can fold up and then it turns into a, uh, a, uh, a hand truck. You see that down here? That flips down and the whole thing folds up, so that way you can use it as a hand truck to carry some stuff. Uh, it, it was a, it was a, it was an extra attachment. This one of these wheels, I think, is broken on yeah. ours. Yeah. Um, it's not working that great, and that's maybe why they discontinued it. I was not a fond lover of the actual hand truck part. They were trying to do 18 different things with one tool, and usually when you do that, it doesn't work. Uh, I had a water. Okay, here it is. All right, so we covered our horns. So let's get on to those racks that we were talking about. My favorite part. The surly rack system that we put on our EMS bicycle, campus police bicycle, search and rescue bicycle, whatever bicycle. 
obviously you could use this if you were into serious long distance tour. Like I talked about before, the rack itself is made out of chrome aluminum, which is a derivative of steel. The old school bicycles way back when were made out of steel, the frame was. It was chrome molly. And there were different grades of chrome molly and whatnot, and some of them, some of them they were very expensive. It is a great material that can be cut easily, brazed easily, welded easily. It is a excellent excellent material i like chrome molly very very much it's very malleable chrome molly frames take uh, potholes pretty well uh they do they give a little sponge they give you a little a little bit more give way back when before suspension was invented chrome molly's chrome molly frames were what we were dealing with all right the rack itself let out the phone. what about the rack itself, now again, like we talked about, it can be cut, it can be molded. It has all of the hardware. We didn't use a lot of this hardware pack. Uh, you got to kind of use your ingenuity a little bit to be able to put this baby on your bike. I'm kind of curious as to what the what is it, what this thing weighs. I did not weigh it. We're going to weigh it together right here. And uh, I am all zero now. With the hardware complete is 3.2. Three pounds, two ounces. One of no grams. It ain't the lightest thing in the world. How would you want 1,425 grams for this rack. Personally, I'd rather go with this one than, let's say, an alloy one, because what happens if it breaks and you're in some sort of, I don't know, rural area? Uh, when you're like touring, like going around the world. Exactly. Fine. You're going to find somebody. that's got an oxy Exactly. And you can just. I mean, a cutting torch. All yeah. I need is a cutting torch and a piece of brass rod, and we can. Old coat yeah. hanger, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Old coat hanger. Yeah. That would work. Yep. 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 Yeah. Again, we're going really old school there, but you know what? It's going to get you back to what you got to do. Exactly. Three pounds, two ounces. Uh... Now, the next thing. What this thing can hold. It is rated to 80p. 80 pounds. It can handle 80 pounds. That's a lot. 80 pounds? Um, let's just pop this thing down one more time. I'm sorry. No, 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 it's fine. Hit up that kick thing. All right. Now, we mounted this thing on a giant talon. If you want to get familiar with this bicycle, we did some videos before. We release videos twice a week on Mondays and on Thursdays. Um, and one of them, as well as the live show on Saturdays, which you're watching right now. And you can watch the live show after the fact, all of you above. Um, so please uh, put your comments in our live show after it's syndicated. Keep on the comments going so we can all contact, uh, we can all talk to one another, but after the show goes is when you're going to have to put in your contest guest for this week's contest. All right, back at you. Um, suspension on this bicycle, front rack, how did you guys rig it? Real simple, man. Here's the rack that's on there, and look, we can go up and down. <gasps> Witchcraft. Okay, so your suspension has not been wasted. Hold this bad boy. Hold it, hold I'm gonna, it. I'm going to get up on I'm going to stand on top of this. Do you want me to? Well, you're a little more agile. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're about the same. Or what, around 200 pounds, right? 210, yeah. All right. All right yeah. You want me to hold you? Nah, it's cool. It's all right. Yeah. Just, I, I feel, you, you, I, I'm the kind of guy that puts him on a pedestal. Come on, no, just hold, just hold the freaking <laughs> bike, man. Let's do this thing. Screw it. OK, let go. Both hands, let go. Hold on. Dun, 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 dun. I'm not balancing, like, but... Can you lightly jump, jump up and down? <laughs> All right, you can get off now. Okay, it's rated to 80. There's 200 on Okay? I, you know, we're not going... If you did that, I, I'd be smashing through the ceiling. But, but uh, you get the... Uh, this thing is strong. Can that hold... Very strong. Can that hold maybe, I don't know, your, your girlfriend? Oh, yeah. Well, hey, you can just... Yeah, exactly. You can, she can sit on the front and just ride around. Oh, cool. All right. All right. So there you have now, While we're at it, you know, since we're on the same page, we did put a rear of a surly rack on here uh, just for, 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 uh, for kicks and giggles. You know, you want to get up on the back of that one there and, and, and show them, you know, be able to get it there. This one? This one yeah. yeah, this one's a bit longer. Ugh! The whole thing.
hope it's bad, boy. Ow, damn. Yeah, the tire is squishing up and down. There you have it. Okay, strong. Strong, strong, certainly strong. Certainly strong racks. Uh, you can't get better than that, guys. All right? Literally standing on it. All right, now we can put it back up again. All right. Just seeing where everyone's uh, talking about. Oh, till the turns it. There we go. All right. Now, how did we do this? How did we get it? Back? How did we assemble it? And what did we do to beat this thing? Well, it's a trade secret. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, hose clamps. We use a hose clamp on the bottom. We cut our hose clamp down. We don't flop it around. It can get caught. We really fine tuned it and put a hose clamp. Up on the top here, we use. I got. I. 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 I, I you got to start setting up certain kicks and stuff. So we, uh, and I get, this is probably a little, this is a little, it's too small, but it's, you get the idea. Uh, this is all of our hardware that we're, extra hardware that we might be going to get, uh, that you get from a hardware store or just various different hardware kit part, parts, products. These are cable clamps that you would use for conduit. They're galvanized. Uh, they come in various different diameters and they're usually like to put a piece of pipe against a wall, like a pipe strap hanger. Well, it and modified it and kind of used our our, our worksmanship and, uh, ingenuity. And, whatnot, and made ingenuity exactly and we made it into a circle instead of a semi u circle uh, looks like that and we wrapped it with some bicycle tube so that it doesn't mar the frame as well as it's absorb some shock and it might be if the thing moved just a little bit it doesn't squeak and holler so uh, we wrapped one of those up here and put a nice stainless steel quarter 24 bolt through it. Uh, again, you know, we're getting set up with certain different things. Um, this one's pretty nice. This one's pretty solid and set uh, of what we're going to do. But, you know, you're, when you're dealing with the EMS stuff and, and that kind of stuff, and if you, especially if you're fixing it, you better be ready, okay? And uh, we're ready here. We've got our new, this is all stainless. I can't get the elastic stop nuts in stainless, but we got elastic stop nuts, regular nuts, some bigger fender washers, lock washers, flat washers, all for the same size bolt. Uh, and we have different lengths of bolts in here. Again, this is an emergency repair kit uh, that will be traveling with us. Uh, and we have all of the definite pertinent information on the top with the SKU numbers with the, so that if we need to reorder, boom, 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 we hit it with a scanner. All I have some special, again, now guys, you got to set this stuff up so that you're ready. Um, we have some, a special drill bit and tap set. The drill bit and tap set is for the specific threading that's on this, in case we have to thread something I've never to make that I've never seen that. Uh, it nice comes with the, uh, yeah, I feel that's awesome. Nice kit. This is really, this is really, really handy. Again, you got to be ready for the emergency type stuff. Uh, when the defecation hits the rotating oscillator, you guys have these guys, or the guys that are riding this stuff. So when the defecation hits the rotating oscillator, you damn sure better be ready. <laughs> You know what I mean? You better be ready. You better have something going on, whether it be a gas mask or a, a, a shield or a whatever. You know what I mean? What what, what a nice, scientific sounding way to say that. I've never heard that ever. you never heard that before? In my, I've heard the, defi the defecation part, but not the rotating oscillator. <laughs> Yeah. I've never heard that one. I can't fit this. This, this kit's too small. We need a bigger kit. It's kid. a tiny one. Yeah. Yeah, All right, so uh, I'm not going to stuff that crap in there. You know what you call five pounds of stuff in a 10 pound bag of blood? Or no, it's 10 pounds of stuff in a five pound bag. Whatever. Put that bag over there. <laughs> it just goes through so, the table. Um, there you you got to be ready, and you got to be ready. That is the bottom line. Oh, I forgot to show, show it up. Get, throw me that, that blue thread locker. You didn't show them the most important part. What's that? The thread locker. I know. Out of that kit that I just was showing. Now listen, when I ask, it's up here, okay? Your water? Yeah. Yeah, okay, because mine's here. Um, all of the nuts and bolts, if you're not using elastic stop nuts, you should be thinking about using some sort of a thread locker. Thread locker looks like this. It's this blue, like goo gooey stuff, and you put it on the threads, and then it seals it up. Uh, if you don't use an elastic stop nut, remember this stuff is going on the road. It's going to be used heavily. You've got to make it as bulletproof as possible. Uh, we're going to be going around the world on our bicycle. We want to make sure that we're going to have as little problems as possible. 
and keeping stuff tight is probably the number one. So blue thread locker is what we use. Do not use the red unless you are seriously. The red thread locker, you need a torch to get it off. You need heat. Not necessarily a torch, but you know, you need like 500 degrees to get it up to to be able to get that old thread locker off. So the blue stuff, you do need a wrench to get it off. It works the best I've found in the 40 years that I've been doing it. Uh, you need something on there. Use a little, a little drop, just a little dab will do you, kind of like brill cream, a little dab will do you. You old guys know what I'm talking Hello, about. Hello, Mr. Bike Man, congrats for the show. That hey. is Fernando... Fernando! Fa he's Forsaker! Gonna, he's going to hate me for not being able to say that. Thank you, Fernando. Donnie Kirby is in the house. What's happening, Donnie Kirby? Blue Loctite, he knows the deal. Uh, and uh, Green, I like the blue stuff. Greetings, cogheads. <laughs> What's going on? All right, Red Rider. Red Rider, you were close. You were close on your guess, man. You were really close. But you didn't win. Uh, okay. Wow, way to just <laughs> shut him down. <laughs> just like that, like, yeah, put a I'm sorry I cut you a, off at the knees. Such, man, I love you, man. such a donkey. I'm sorry. Uh, all right, so we went over the front rack. Thing ways. Let's go on to the back one. Let me just show you a couple of the fine things of this rear rack that's going on. By Surly now. The same width. I love this width. The size of this is larger than those other racks. Where's another rack? Give me one of them bikes, smart ones. We got a tape measure taken off? Now, granted, sometimes bigger is yeah. not better. In this situation, we got a tape measure? Yep, right. In this situation, a little bit wider is better. Okay, um, this is your standard. Um, okay, on the rear that goes onto the rear, and it is approximately what three inches, five inches. This guy here is six, a full inch fatter, wider. Spread the load out. Spreads the load. You know what else it does for us? It helps us out if we have disc brakes or whether we have standard V brakes. Because I really. I get it. I just don't like those ones where, like, you know, they bulge out and then come back down. V brake, okay. Uh, we can also deal with tire size. It can handle anything you throw at it. 26, 27, 700C. What about 29er? What about 26.4? Fat bike? W uh, will that rack ooh, fit? I'm not sure. A fat bike. I'm not sure if it'll fit on a big dummy. Big dummy and Surly's. Oh, right. Sorry, not the... Uh, uh, Would it go onto a crawler? I, you know, again, a fat tire bike. We're talking about the big fat wheels, the flotation ones. Though You know the ones we're talking about. The ones that you see me shredding. The, oh, yeah, the ones that you... That's right, that's right. Over this past weekend, we did... Oh, if you guys missed this week's videos, man, we had our snow ramp out back, and I took a little header, and now I headed it. I, it was on, actually, this bicycle. I was just looking at it when I... I, 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 I uh, the bar end. I broke, I broke it. That's a true BMX thing when you're freaking, when, you're, well, when I, that's smashed in. It's a true BMX thing. I but like the rest that. of the bike was fine. If you didn't, if you don't know, I took a crash. I, I, I my family saw all face. that. My know. mom, dad, and yeah. everyone. And <laughs> they just started laughing. I'm sorry. Laughing. No, because you stand out and you're just like, you better have got it. And you put like <laughs> screaming it and you're just like staring off into space. And I'm like, <laughs> my mom just started hysterically. Just died, huh? Yeah. It was good, man. It was funny. It, it was, was cool. cool. He, you should see him. He gets up there and boing, boing. He's like a little jackrabbit. I wish I was 20 years younger. Anyway, uh, fatness of the rack. It can handle all wheel sizes, all shapes, all sizes. We're not sure about that big fatty stuff. But standard, you know. I'll get back. 27 and a half. It fits it all. Disc brake, regular brake. So consequently, depending upon your... I think that this rack is going to last longer than the bicycle is. That's possible. I think you could probably get two turns out of a bicycle. I don't doubt that. I These really don't. Ain't cheap. Okay, they're not yeah. cheap. You get what you pay for. The Surly rack is just a rama. I just cannot emphasize it enough. Surly the, themselves. Yeah. I mean, ju I mean, their bicycles them themselves, their components and stuff, are built to be abused. Yeah. So, so you would think the rack is built the exact same way. 
The fittings on this stuff are stainless, uh, which makes it nice, or aluminum, uh, depending upon it. So their corrosion resistance is is not is there's not a lot. We have adjustability here, so this can come up and down with a couple of fittings, and they give you a couple of different stanchion type things here. Okay, this is the whole rare rack right here in my hot little hands, and we're gonna find out what this one was. Uh, I hope you guys are paying attention. That's a hint. Uh, bada boom. Two pounds, nine ounces. Now, is that with the hardware and bubble wrap? That's a hardware, uh, that's my hardware kit, bubble wrap. You might not use all the hardware. We didn't use all of it. 1165 grams. Did you write that down? Oh, well, I got it. I hope so. Did you give the weight of the rack? I gave the weight of the front rack. And now I did the weight of the rear rack. We got son of it in the house. Shall we go over and say hello to son of it? We haven't seen son of it. Uh, so we got the rack. We got that. We're moving on to the next step is what we're going to put onto this. But let's go over and check out son of it for a second. What do you got? Nothing. Uh, do we sell sleds or toboggans? Sleds or toboggans. I had to sadly say no. It will work the, the same uh, thing. <laughs> what is it? questions while we next level on our show here today like man's mic isn't working too good today it's not working at all as a matter of fact how about now we're working now i bet i'm sorry guys did we catch all of that what were we on the regular mic is that what we were on probably i don't know all right some of us back at us all right that helps some of you are supposed to tell me if my mic isn't on hey you know we're on a... oh you heard me loud and clear all right uh, I didn't have it on. Now I'm on, so we were using the other mic. We're working on. We're, you know what? Our live show is a constant work in progress, and I appreciate your guys' uh, honesty, and I appreciate your guys' telling, uh, and I appreciate your suggestions. Um, whether or not we follow them or not, well, whatever. But you know, please keep them coming because they do not fall on deaf ears. All right, now. This is all great, well, and dandy, BMX boy, that we've got ourselves a rack on the front, a rack on the back, and we've got ourselves a horn. This light system on here, this is made by Surface. We're, uh, we're waiting on a Surface set of lights that are going to go on the underneath. It's going to go inside of here. You can show I can show them what? Show them the uh, um, picture of what's uh, on... Uh... Nah, we'll say. Nah, all right. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, okay, but all right. I'll just kind of explain it a little bit. It's going to be some flashing lights. We're going to remove this. This was a customized reflector bracket that we made here in house, uh, and screwed it directly into the Surly rack. They come with some different attachments, which really make it nice. We're going to put our emergency lights down here, and they're going to be flashers that flash, as well as high beam, low beam. Fourteen hundred lumens is what I'm looking at here. Uh, Fourteen hundred lumens. This little guy here is five hundred lumens, and it is pretty bright. We all like gadgets, don't we? Oh my goodness. No problem. Debrega? No. That thing is bright, man. 
that is high, medium, low, and low, low, and flashing. Well, if you want to hear a funny story, I was... You were riding one of these lights now. Yeah. Um, a deer ran across the, this street and stopped. <laughs> <laughs> when you were riding? I strapped it to my... Um, to your head? Yeah. And uh, I'm cruising along. I'm just going... Nah, 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 nah. And a deer was like... <clears throat> and then I stopped and I went... Uh, Doing. And then it was just kind of went and walked away. <laughs> walked away as you're yeah. riding down. It was a little scary riding and coming up across a big it's, ass deer like it's that. It's scary you're like, because oh. you're just like, oh, oh man, I'm not, you know, I'm in a car. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm on a bicycle. Yeah. Uh, so we've got to be able to, so that was that light. So that's our light system that we got coming. Maybe next week we'll be able to share that with you or whatnot. We also have a bracket here on the front. Uh, this bracket here is pretty useful. Toe Peak makes bags that go on to this bracket. We'll start there, I guess. Uh, we got four different Toe Peak size bags. Toe Peak makes a lot of nice products. We kind of like Toe Peak. Uh, we covered the horn, we covered the racks. Here's our Toe Peak. We got them um, for all four people in the family. Uh, and these two little guys are about the same in uh, the bracket everybody comes with the bracket you can <laughs> purchase an additional bracket uh, if your bracket gets broken or if you want to put your bag on bike to bike to bike get another which bag. i yeah which is awesome yeah it's a great great deal this little guy here is kind of a little bit of a hard, hard case. plastic case it's got the strap neoprene strap on the top so you can carry it like that uh it does have shoulder strap d-rings on the side very clean look small i kind of like it depending upon what you're going to use. has dual straps. If it's on the bike and it flaps open like that. Mm. Okay. Again, it's got the shoulder strap. Uh, a little bag like this shoulder strap, not my cup of tea, but whatever. <laughs> you look like a... Uh, uh, man, uh, Europeans, I think the word you'd be looking for. Men, wear, men who wear purses are very European. Yes. Okay. It's a European uh, a Velcro bag. closure... Velcro, except separator to the nice, it's a nice padded inside. This would be nice for my, uh, if I was just carrying my camera, my video camera. This is also removable. Again, Surface makes a nice product. So then you toe can peak. just use it. Oh, excuse me. Toe peak. Thank you. Thank you. Surface does make a nice product, but not these. Not, these are not. These are, <laughs> these are, these are toe peaks. Thank you. Uh, and it has another little come over the top of this, another little pouch in here. Are then up. it's got the mesh in here that you can keep, like, you know, your keys or some change or some money in there or whatnot. It reminds me of my wallet. Okay, it's pretty nice. And then you got the, again, the separator here if we wanted to separate some things that were inside of here to give you a compartmental size, compartmental eyes. Uh, here, and then this, this is kind of like holds up to there, or you put that down. We got another little guy here. All of Toe oh, it's my shower cap. Your shower cap is right. I don't think you're going to make that. That's not going to be a, not, that be a little tight. And, uh, all of your Toe Peak bags come with a rain slicker slicker jacket. They call this the bar pack. And this bad boy clicks onto this little bracket right here. This. Quick. Put it. Nice little bag condom goes right on there. Bada bing. So that way, in case it rains, also. Yellow, blah, 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 blah. Nice little guy bag. Okay. Love it. I'll trade off. Thank you. Next up, uh, relatively the size, but instead of uh, hard plastic, it's a little bit more of a Cordura type. We also have a strap in the front to be able to strap one of your lights on. That one doesn't have a strap in the front to put a light no, on. No, it does not. No. It's just Is it a shell. Is reflectorized front on that or no? Mm. Um, so, a uh, no reflectorized strap on the front of this one as well. You would be putting your, your flashing light that can hook through this loop. Again, the same style of zippers with their nice, they got a nice hole going on. It's nice neoprene type of handle to be able to hold that baby. This has got a strap that comes around the whole front of it like this because it turns into a fanny pack. A what now? A fanny pack. Well, one more time? Fanny. Oh, okay. We were joshing about that the other day on the live <laughs> show about that. Yeah, but well, whose waist is that, that is that big? Well, no, exactly. Yeah, it is pretty. Pretty. I, tight. I'm not gonna be. <laughs> Here's the bracket that comes with the, with it uh, and whatnot. But here is the magic. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, it's an expander. Not okay. a. This one does not come with a shoulder strap. It comes with the waist uh, waist strap. 
Alright, let me see. Nice strat, nice strat, nice Durable, hooks, right? You know, really clicks in. You can tell the quality of a bag by the, by the strat. And then this is going to go into here and into here. Uh, we got our, again, our Velcro closure here. We got some extra slight bags inside of here, little pockets, little nooks and crannies. Again, not a zippered one, but it still does have the condom that goes on there uh, to hold that thing. You might want to watch with the, uh, <laughs> what's that? The, uh, the uh, C word. Oh, oh, yeah. There might be. Hey, hey, come on. I man. know, but there, seems, might, but there might be some kids out there. There might be some. Well, hey, you know what? You don't know. Well, it's time to learn what the heck it is. I mean, I'm not going to hold back. It's not like it's the end of the world. Here, yeah, let me here, put that on. I'm not going to reach around your waist. See if that thing fits you. Don't strap on me. <laughs> you freak. Uh, no problem. You got plenty of them. Dude, well, I'm kind of yeah. skinny. Don't touch me. <laughs> That's weird. Come on, don't. All right, I'm sorry. No, that's fine. All right, so now he's also got some small, <laughs> small straps underneath here, okay? Package is on. All right, we can take that off now. Thank you. you just made me feel awkward. I felt a little awkward myself. So anyway, it's got some. Uh, I'm some gonna go shower now. Here, and uh, some little strappage here. Again, this can go all the way around to the top, and it hooks on to. Made by again Topi. Hooks on to the same exact brand. Boom. Nice, right? Yeah. Well, for, for for me, I really don't look like small uh, small bar uh, small bar bags. Yeah. No. Do you got this something? bag here is called the what? The compact handle bar bag. Yeah. I mean, that's not me though. 1800 denier fabric. That's probably on all of the stuff. It can. Oh, that bracket can handle 25 to 31.8 diameter handlebars, which is pretty much everything out there. Um, five, 11 pounds is the max load in this little guy. 11 pounds in that? That's a lot of poundage. That's a lot of... In that little... 11 like, pounds of, uh, you know, That would what? Like almost be like a lead breaker, like maybe like a large battery or something. Well, that, what if you're you know? carrying, you know, your, your phone, a camera, um some tools in there or something. Mm. How about if you're carrying one of these high performance light systems that's got a battery pack and, that's and, right. and, and, you ready for this one? What else? What if we got like a lithium ion battery in there that's powering a pedal assist motor? Ooh, oh, I see what you're getting at now, okay. Hmm? Yeah. What about that going into that How much bag? would that, well. How much would one of those weigh? I don't know. Well. Do you think it's the same as the uh, Big Cat? Well, the Big Cat's battery is a lead acid. It's not even a lithium ion. But I'm method. saying, I'm, I'm like that battery itself is pretty. That's big. Yeah. That battery is like yeah, this. You know. But, you know, but maybe, it's got you know, some hey, weight. The technology is starting. I know to get it's getting smaller, 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 but much more more powerful as it gets smaller. It doesn't necessarily have to go on the handlebar. I know that. So, all right, so uh, that takes care of that. Moving on to that one. Oh, here, that bracket goes into that oh, bag. So it's okay. Right. Moving on to the two Mac Daddies. These guys here are now we're getting into a little bit more touring style. I like these. Um, we got the Big Mambo and we got the Littler guy. Again, this is getting a little bit bigger than that guy. It's got a, a little bit more belt. Goes on the same bracket, okay? This is the called the Tour Guide Handlebar Bag. Okay, uh, again, all the same stuff that we were talking about. Uh, max load on this is also 11 pounds. Um, what can I go over on this? Front type small pouchage. Again, it's got that fleece inside of it so that it protects you, protects the stuff that's inside. Large reflective 3M, has the bolt and belt loop on there, okay? Moving on to the side of this baby. Got the D-ring for the shoulder strap. Now we're getting a little bit on the shoulder strap. I might carry a shoulder strap on this. But again, it comes with it. You don't necessarily have to use it. It's a nice small side pouch. To I put like some those. small stuff in here. As well as a little nylon deal if you wanted to put something on the side. A little side pocket. Got the same thing on the side. Will that fit? A, uh, uh, will that fit like a phone? My, Not quite. My but inside of this one, it'll fit. Oh, it fits like a, that. That iPhone, that baby fits in there like Perfect. Well. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. Um, so side pouches. That's pretty nice. Uh, a nice little feature. The mat case. I like that. 
that comes up here. Now, you know, I was thinking maybe your, your phone could fit inside of this too as well. Um, the map case comes off so that way, you know, if you wanted to go inside and, you know, all right, we're going to map out our, you know, your map would be into here and depending upon how you fold it, it would go into that, onto that. And I think your phone would fit into there, no yeah. problem. Try it out. So. Mine's a bit, uh, yeah, it's a bit, a bit weird. But it kind of fits into there like that, and now, Depending on you, how you, you know what you, you exactly you got to you know what you might want to you know turn it sideways, turn it inside. Again, you got to kind of work it out accordingly. But you get the you get where this is coming from with this plastic, and you're going to be able to use your phone, I think, through the plastic. I'm not sure. I'll find Let's out. Find out. Uh, nice bag. It also has another top type before you go into the main compartment. Another little area here. And it's departmentalized so that you can, again, I mean, nicely, nicely made. Multiple, you know, if you had some paperwork or, you know, this might be a nice kit for like a first aid, a basic first aid kit for like, you know, maybe it is like oh, yeah. you know, first aid people. It does work. Look at that. It works. It, the, the phone works through the plastic. So uh, there you have it. There you go. Cool. Pretty nice. Very nice. There you go. Uh, and again, uh, made by Topeak. Oh, we were still on this. Holy uh, crap. So you got, you know, this top guy. I, I, I mean, they really customize the bag so that you can really do whatever you want to do with it and, and kind of, you know, I like it. I like it. This under there. We're going to go right underneath here again. Uh, the Velcro that they use, Topeak uses, is heavy duty. Almost heavy duty, you know. I mean, you, you just touch it and it's like, like glue. Uh, I, 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 you know well, what I'm talking about? Yeah, but th that's nice though. Yeah, oh yeah, it is. It's heavy duty. I like that. I like that. Moving on to the inside. Again, we've got our standard rain pouch on the small one, shoulder strap, departmentalized Velcro divider, Ow. as well as a inside couple of pockets inside. Ooh. And uh, that's oh, no, just this is, a uh, no. That's no. that's if you. You know, if you break the bracket, you can take it off and put on your new one. A new bracket. You yeah. can get replacement brackets for it. No. Uh, again, nice little handlebar bag up to 11 pounds also goes into this. And it is scotch light on the front. Am I missing anything? Tour guide clicks on to the same bracket. All right, enough farting around with that. Now, Mac Daddy, the largest of the Toe Peak series handlebar bag. Now, this is the one that I might get for myself. Yeah, you are liking that one, huh? It's pretty big, and you know me, I'm not a minimalist. Shoulder I carry strap. freaking everything. What's that? Shoulder strap. Oh, thank you. I carry everything. You like, you like, you like to be prepared. I do. I'm. Were, were you a Boy Scout? I wasn't Boy Scout. Uh huh. Yeah. So I'm I I I'm that always be a prepared guy. Uh -huh. I carry too many tubes, too many tools. Uh -huh. But hey, but you get pretty popular when their stuff breaks down, don't they? You get which, all of a sudden how to win friends and influence people. Which carry I, a lot of tools. Which I have done. Don't be a tool. Carry tools. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good all one. right what's that that's a good one don't be a tool Karen. yeah yeah that's okay. nice all right so uh the large mac daddy all of the same features Been and benefits hey but it's just this one. bigger bigger and more bigger now, you got the same size of that uh, same uh whatchamacallit uh map case lycra not lycra neoprene neoprene cover Front strap, large reflector, still got the spot for your light. Kind of heavy duty, like a bumperized rubber on the side here. Uh, looks a little beefola. You get that, son? It's like I'm spastic. We got a, a strap on the inside, nylon, double stitched, heavy duty. Uh, has a couple of straps that you can put some things into there as well to keep it separated along with the side pouch. Inside flap. Notice the design of this, the way it comes down like that and it zippers on here. Again, the raining, the beat rain, it's not going to seep through the zipper that would be along the top. It folds down so that way the water sheds off of it. Well designed, guys. He's got yeah, and then you've got a, a, a pouch in here that you can get to, to whatever you want to get to. 
Again, double zippers on both sides. Everything is double zippered. They're using the same zippers throughout. Uh, nice nylon mesh type. Again, there's your rain cut, your rain cover. Huh. Oh, here. Straps inside of here. That's pretty nice. Again, uh, bracket, shoulder strap. Uh, this little guy right here. All of your brackets, all of your stuff comes with one of these little guys as well. Now we'll get into the bracket itself. The let's say you have, you know, you start taking up a lot of space on your handlebar. We got other things that we want to go onto our handlebar. I.e., that means example, a cycle computer, something to be able to tell how far, how fast. how much time you've been on the bike, all of the above. They make a accessory bar. It looks like this, and it clicks right to here. Like, whoops, that. Now, you can mount your computer right onto here. And you don't, you're, not loodle, you, you're not missing any of the handlebar space. So they give you a little, it's like a little double decker for your equipment. Uh, depending upon what, you know, which bag you're using, you might be able to get your uh, if it fits over the top. With the big, with the big Mac Daddy bag, uh, you're not going to, you know, a computer or, or something else handle, maybe a horn or, or something like that. Okay, there we go. Um, so, you, you know, it, it's not, no, it's, it, it's, it's so close, but. First of all, getting that light on there is going to be a bitch. A bit of a pain, yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, I forgot where I was for uh, a second. Uh, uh, give me a break. Yelling at me it's, uh, oh, come on. It's one word. You said the same thing four times. All right. So they get the idea. It's no good. It's not good. I mean, way out there it'll go. but I, That's going to blind you. <laughs> it's the, hey, you know, maybe we could get it up a little bit higher. That would be nice. But, you know. Regardless, uh, I think they've really engineered their product nicely, Topeak. I like them. I like the product. I think it's nice. I just wish they would stop uh, prostituting the internet with their pricing. What's, uh, what's uh, that mean? Uh, I didn't want it. Oh, never mind. All right, so uh, the bracket, the workhorse of this thing. Couple of shims in case you got different sizes of handlebar bag. Boom, boom. Depending upon the size of your handlebar, depending upon the bracket itself and how it fits onto it. You got that accessory kit that goes onto the top of there. Two different shell sizes that would go in between here and this hinges. I'm gonna get to that in a second, I need to have them. Looks like this, five millimeter, you know, and they beef this stuff up. Five millimeter Allen key. It's not, you know, a lot of your other competitors and stuff, they're using the little four one. They use a five on this, something beef. Okay? The bracket is replaceable. You can buy it separately. So, and this is, this is the, the again, it comes down to how it's manufactured. They've got a special that's oval so that this nut, this bolt can go back and forth like this. You want to get this, son of a. It's a little ovalized so that this can go back and forth. And the washer is oval so that it can go back and forth as well. This is what I'm talking about, the machining of certain things. And observing the quality of certain things. Um, a brass insert that is all the way a beefy brass nutted insert that goes into here. The bolt itself is hollow right down the middle. Why is it hollow? It's because it's extra added fastening device which is this cable. They basically, they give you a little hunk of gear cable. Uh, smart, man. These guys are smart, okay? And what happens, this one has a bolt on this side and it has a bolt on this side. And I'm gonna get to that in a half a second, all right? But again, you know, you wonder, they say that the thing is only, and this one too, the big one I think is only rated to what, 11 pounds? Yeah, 11 pounds, five kilos. Uh, in that, now we can get 11 pounds in that. 
a gallon of water, that's approximately seven pounds, eight pounds. Um, so, you know, it can handle a gallon of water. The way that this bracket and this thing mounts onto there, it's rated to 11 pounds. Topeak's lawyers have come to the conclusion that nothing more than 11 pounds can go into this thing. They feel extremely confident that 11 pounds can go into that thing. OSHA and the rating companies and the this ones and the that ones and all the lawyers that get together and whatnot say that that can handle 11 pounds. Will the bike man go out on a limb and say that it can handle 12 pounds? No. I'm not. I'm not. Eleven pounds is what it's rated to. This surly rack right here also goes through the same certification to find out exactly how much poundage can go on to its rack, and it is broadcast as well. I think I went into that. Seventy pounds. Eighty. Eighty. Thank you. 80 pounds is what that rack is weighted for, rated for, advertised as. We stood on top nice and strong. Marcus weighs 200. The rack is only rated to 70 pounds. The bag is only rated to 11. I'm going to say no more. Good afternoon. You are live and on the air with the bike man. Again? All right. I answered you once. You're done. Please stop. If you need to get a hold of me, I am available at 631-902-0836. This is a no-caller ID. I refuse to answer those. I am not going to answer this anymore. I do happen to have a best friend that he is speeches, so that's who I thought it might be. He might have had a problem. But you know what? I know who you are now. You're done. Uh, the cable apparatus that helps to teach this on. Again, it's rated to 11 pounds. It goes through this side right here. This is kind of cool the way this works. Goes through, holds nice and tight. Then it has a little piece of plastic cable, plastic sheathing. You have this stuff on the other stuff. And it goes through here like that. Now this is gonna go underneath the stem. This cable goes down through and it goes underneath the stem and attaches to the other side over here. You might have to cut this part down, this part down but you can see where my old cable is right here. I left this long so that I could show you guys. There's my horn, you see the horn? Horn in. And it goes, so it goes down through here, it comes through here, and this bolt right here underneath is that thing nice and tight. You get that, Sonda? Yeah, I don't get what that does though. It's gonna help it so now when it twists down like this, it prevents this from twisting down. So it's a, a, it's a beefiness that helps it to, so that if you put in exactly 11 pounds, you know, kind of like a half ton truck. You think a half ton truck can handle more than a half a ton? I think I got my point across here, guys. I hope I did. If I need you to, if I need you to spell it out to you in very plain and simple terms, uh, maybe you shouldn't be on a bicycle if you get where I'm going. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Uh, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say, all right? 11 pounds. Let me put that back. I don't want to lose this stuff. Uh, all right, so we went over that, we went over that, we went over that, we went over that, we went over the bracket, blah, 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 blah. Now, we were talking before about how certain things you might not necessarily, and again, it's recommended to go on the handlebar, it's not recommended to go in other places, and blah, blah, blah. And are we using it for its intended purpose? And uh, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, sometimes you gotta live it on the edge and whatnot. And, but you gotta, you know, whatever. I'm not gonna get into that. Here we go. 
I have thought about a couple of different things. We're working on different systems. We're working on some extra cycles. We're working on some other things. I got some ideas going. I got to talk to Toki, but whatever. Here we have an extra cycle. This is what they call the free radical. They do not make the free radical anymore. I'm kind of sad about that. <coughs> the free radical, you take your old bike, you put this onto it, and it turns it into a cargo bike. Extremely long bag that is on the back of this thing. Here. That you can carry cargo with and it comes out and it larges and if you're not familiar with the bike man we've done some stuff on this go back and check out our archives and whatnot extra cycle free radical nice machine they also make complete bicycles that look very similar to this they don't do the free radical anymore um it's kind of sad i kind of like the free radical i like the design i like the whole shooting match about it um now i again i'm just you know i'm just talking here and whatnot this is kind of neat because i and uh, depending upon what you want to do or whatnot, but you know, you get the idea. We put one of those Topi brackets on this handlebar, on this bar right here. This bar here happens to be a little bit smaller than your normal bar, so we had to modify so really it's not rated and it's not specifically designed for this, so I really don't recommend doing that. Um, but we put the bracket onto the side of this and uh, clicks right onto there. You know, you could put multiple different things onto there. Maybe you could set up another bar here so that you could have in different systems and different, you know, here. And then maybe another one underneath here. So you could have different systems little bit bigger bag so that you know depending upon what the problem might be is depending upon which bag you would pick what do you think about that sounds good sounds good right who you got out there mag what's happening what's doing what's doing we got, we got blue meanie preston golden who's gonna argue lol hi charlie 10 speed the hanger sanfordshire dog walking how do you make iced tea that would make a nice motorized bike. Yeah. All right. So there's that extra cycle. We went to that. We went to that. Let's move it on. Again, it's all about EMS. It's all about EMS. It's all about a bicycles. It's all about it, baby. You got something in between. What are you doing over there? You reckon this stuff? Oh, reckon. All right. With our EMS bicycle, we went over our horn, we got that, we got that EMS Ow. police cruiser slash Parkus police or whatever. Um, okay. Emergency. That hurt. Let me just cable, run, run this cable back up here because I don't lose that. Kind of like nice okay. It covers our front handlebar bag system and various we can do with toe peak and that toe peak system there are other systems out there that do have brackets there are other bags but today we only have a short period of time so we went into toe peak if toe peak is listening i would love i think i've given you a pretty good plug here today i do believe that you guys should be a sponsor please so please give us a call 631-902-0836 or bike email us at bikeman for you at bikeman for you.com. That goes for everybody else. If you got any other questions or anything, I'm always reachable. Don't forget Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Uh, we also, if you're really on the cutting edge, we have a Snapchat and a Vine. But those are for your extreme social media buffs. I keep picking at that thing. I'm ripping that Just off. pull it off. <laughs> <laughs> We gotta get some bar ends going on here too. I got some. Oh, we got some in. Oh, yep. cool. Uh, oh, great. Maybe we can put them on later on too. Sure. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, I also bags. Oh, bags. Oh, right. What's that thing? The brake oh, pads. Brake pads. Cool. We got brake pads. We, well, we'll worry about that later. Because we got that brake. Go get a little brake wheel. We were uh, doing some draining and some fluids, and we got brake fluid onto the brake pads. That is a. Anyway, they started squealing like a pig, and uh, so uh, we're going to replace the pads and whatnot, uh, just for future reference. Don't get mineral oil on your brake pad. Yeah. Take that thing down. Sure. All right. 
this is all well and dandy, and we got 11 pounds going into this big monster bag. And probably has more, but you didn't hear me say that. Where am I parking it? In the, in the front here. Oh. Uh, yeah, we're going to put some bags on there. So now, we want to carry stuff that's bigger than what we're Little guy. What do you want to carry? Uh, I want to carry oxygen. I want to carry something else. I want to carry bandages. I want to carry things to check temperature, chains to check blood pressure. I want to carry a stun gun. I want Me to too. carry mace. I want to carry flares. I want to carry a fire. I want to carry communications, satellite phone, regular phone, radio, two-way radio. So what do you think? I want to carry, I don't know. What else is e a shovel? Maybe a small, yeah, a maybe. small pickaxe, a small one of them small shovels. Um, what uh, you know? I, I mean, you guys come up with some ideas of what you want to carry, and then we're going to figure out how to put it on there. The smaller stuff, you're going to need some sort of a bag or something to hold this. And uh, we're going to go into that right now. A civilian style bag. I like the system. We purchased it just because I thought the system was really, really cool. Uh, it is made by a company in Germany. Uh, it's distributed. I'm not going to tell you who the manufacturer is because the quality is not quite there. I'm not happy with the quality, but I love the concept. I think the concept of this bag is absolutely phenomenal. Um, can we take this bag and then turn around and beef it up? I really don't want to go around that motion. Uh, I really want something that's, you know, stock and ready to go. Uh, it's not my job to redesign your product. Uh, if I redesign product, I'm going to put my own damn name on it. Um, so con I like the idea behind this one, and I'd like to share it with you guys. So I'm not going to tell you who the manufacturer is, okay? So don't ask. Boom! <laughs> Here it is. It is a bag that looks like this, and it goes right on. It has a cut-type way here, okay? This is angled, so it goes on like that. Jeez. That's how quickly it goes on. Here's one of the things that I didn't like about this bag is the fact that it, it, uh, it didn't come with a, 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 a hook, so I had to put this, this little thing. Really? Didn't, yeah, so I was... Oh, come on. That was kind of cheap. Slacking. Yeah, a little bit. No. Lack of attention. Oh. But the actual bag goes on as one complete set. It goes on like that. We have some straps here that are going to hook on to this, and it hooks like this. Another thing I don't like about this bag... Listen, listen, listen. It's like pansy. I saw that and I went, my God. These clips are cheap. What the hell? Cheap, 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 cheap. So, again, it's got some, again, there's not double stitched here. Another thing that kind of pisses me off. And if you look here, you see here? There's a spot here where the, 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 the stitching is kind of coming off and I can kind of come underneath here. As you can see, that is supposed to. Are you inside the actual uh, No, bag? I'm not inside the bag. Oh, okay, it's, just, it's just like a protector. But still. But it's still. No. This is shitty, uh, crappy uh, workmanship. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm not happy about the workmanship on this bag, okay? Yeah, you know what? Um, I just found that. You have a piece of duct tape or something kicking around, please? Do I have duct tape? Thanks. It's all right. Tilted it the wrong way. I always have d d I always have tape. <laughs> about that? Yeah. Two. Sure thing. Good idea. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll. Now I'm not going to have to worry about hiding the logo and this, that, and the other thing. All right, good. Um, now, this, the bag also didn't come with any instructions. Um, it does have a pretty nice handle in the top. It has two holes that come through here, so we would strap this on to something, something about like this, and maybe strap this on to here like that, okay, to do that. The bag is pretty nice in the fact that it's got double steppers, and it opens up very, very wide. Now, I just packed it out with some packing materials and whatnot, but you get the idea. So she's, you know, a lot. You can fit a lot inside wow. here. Wow. Okay. I didn't know that. And it goes all the way down so that you can get to it. The idea is that this would stay on the bicycle, okay? This is not going to come off to go wherever, all right? You would leave this on the bicycle. Big, large compartment. Nice. Okay? Uh, I like the bag. I like the design. The worksmanship, they'd be fired in my shop. 
Uh, some shoulders, some side ones here as well. Reflectorized stripe here. This is covering up the logo, not reflectorized. But you get, you know, again, a small size pouch. We pack it out with some bubble wrap and stuff, but you get the idea, right? Doom, boom. Nice, nice, nice design. I really like the design. Now comes the best part. Um, you want to strap it on? Or just. No, no. No, we're going to leave it. Just free float um, it. All right, so next, also with this thing. And again, I love this design. The design is awesome. I need another piece of duct tape. I got it on there. Oh. No, I got oh. another place. I didn't see it. I'm sorry. Sorry. That's OK. Excuse my back. I didn't know that. I know. <laughs> That's... Is there one on the other side, too? No. Oh, th 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 thank goodness. Bag looks like this. Nice, right? Comes with a shoulder strap. Now the shoulder strap could go on to here, or it could snap here, so you could hold it like this. You with me? Here comes the cool part. This is quick attach, an easy deployment. Four fast tech clips, but they're pansy fast tech clips. I want beef, and on the other side as well. So now, depending upon what you want to roll into here and put into here, um, you've got a pretty large, and again, you can get to this while it's still on the bag, okay? Double, double zipped all the way around, and it opens up like that, and you've got in here, and you can get into it. We did put a little piece of cardboard in here to help hold its shape a little bit. Um, I would maybe use a little piece of corrugated plastic, or, you know, you could, car you could maybe use that as a petition or something like that. But it can fit a lot of stuff inside of here. Um, again, dual zipperage. It's like a suitcase. It is. It's like a small carry-on bag to go into a, under the air. Um, it's a good, it's a nice size. It's big enough. It's supported. It goes across the whole back side. Uh, if I didn't get the bubble wrap stuck in the zipper, it would be better. It would have right away. What you gonna do? Okay. Also has a strap on the back to be able to put one of your, you know, flashers on a little. Again, they're thinking a little bit here. Okay. It has up here another inside on top of this another type of compartment, as well as a raised compartment over the top here as well, and then it has a netted type compartment that you could maybe something that might be a little bit uh, funky size, uh, like your help. Uh, Underneath there, a basketball or something to that degree. Uh, you know, I, I don't quite understand why one would put their helmet underneath here like that and then strap it down or put it the other way like that. I guess. Whatever, you get the idea. And then you would. You, it, it has a. Uh, but if you're strapping it down, wouldn't you be riding it? I, exactly. But you, this thing should be on your head, not on the back. But oh, you don't know. There might be something. You know. Or, or you know what? You might want to strap your helmet on here when you take this into the office. Right. Exactly. Or maybe if you're you know, across together. Arizona and you have a side on instead of a, 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 a helmet. Okay. Well, well safety, takes, safety takes them a holiday. If you're riding, you should be wearing a helmet, right? For anybody who saw the Instagram picture. Yeah, don't be looking at Marcus's Instagram. He was, he was breaking the law, breaking the law. In our own shop. In our own shop. He didn't have his helmet on. Oh, boy. It was yeah, you were go and, that's when, and that's when accidents happen when you're tired of closing time. You know, it takes no professional. Problem. All right, so there you go with the saddlebag system but I, that I, I like, but I don't like the quality of the product. I have a question. Are you a fan of bags on the outback? Excellent, excellent question. I mean, um, this shoulder strap, obviously, you would not ride this. No, the shoulder no, strap is no, on no. here, guys. Before you guys start, hey, forgot the shoulder strap. I, I know. I do not condone putting the shoulder strap down. <laughs> um, I just wanted to not lose it so that I didn't forget to show it to you guys. All right. So now, you got the system that goes on the back. Looks cool, right? Yeah, it does. Really cool. All right. What's that? You don't want to put it on the back? Again, you'd have to undo the straps. We didn't strap it up on that purpose. Now, I like this a lot more. Strap it on the front. Done. So now I have a front one. So consequently, if you really wanted to pack yourself out, you could get two systems. 
80 pounds on the front, 80 pounds on the back. That's 100. That's a lot of weight. That's 160, right? That's a lot of pounds. That's a lot of gear, man. 160 pounds worth of gear you could put onto this thing. And that's what it's rated to. Could you put more on it? I don't. Well, well I don't. we kind of proved that you can, but we don't really condone that. Yeah, we don't. You know, we're not going to necessarily, you know, condone, I don't know if that's the right word, but uh, we, don't, we don't support that, okay? Uh, you now have the capability of 160 pounds worth of gear on the front and the back. Oh, 160 pounds. Now, again, you know, you got, I know what you're thinking, but now you can't get that big bag up on the top. Oh. So you. Oh. I didn't hear what you said. Sure you can. Uh, -huh. uh that's another eleven pounds. Okay. That's now we're at 191, right? Oh, 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 right. Yeah. At 80, no, uh, excuse me, 171. We're at 171 pounds now. See, that's not bad though. Granted, it's not packed out, but still. The Your handling is going to be difficult when we start to deal with 80 here on the front. There's no ifs. What's that? What stuff that is. Yeah. I know, it's a lot of stuff. I like it, it though. Ridiculous. It looks ridiculous? Yeah. I'm a fan of, t of I think a it looks touring. Ass myself. No, yeah, I mean, I could go across the country with this thing. Myself. I'm a no real problem. fan of touring. Yeah. So I think that's awesome. <laughs> I think it's so cool. I mean, but that's me. Now, what happens? If I got more, well, I, I guess you could get another uh, another uh, satin go on the back. But yeah. what, what I, I got more than that. I got more than 170 well, pounds. I want to take with me. You have the extra cycle. You could. I mean, if you want to. Now, wanted uh, to. You know, what are you gonna do? You're gonna so you're gonna put an, on an extra cycle. You're gonna put a uh, a new front for that, and then you got that long thing. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, well that could I, work. I guess. That could work. I mean, that could work. Yeah. That could work. But. You but know, that's a that, specific that thing's bike. clunky. That's, you know, that's, you know, yeah, it's, yeah. And it's, it's a specific use. Yeah. I mean, this bike, you could take the bag off, you could take the bag on, you could do this, you could do that. But I got more gear if we had a front. I got more than what would fit on the front. On the front. Well, what would fit on the back. I got more gear I want to carry. Well, then I. I don't know. Could you, could, know. Could you do a, a, a trailer? A trailer. Could you? Could do, you? Would you in a boat? Do they Could make you, those? Would you in a bike? Could you? Would you eat green eggs and ham? Dun, 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 dun. I've been waiting for this all day. I told you this week's this week's broadcast is going to be killer. All right. Look at this bad boy, Stevie, my man Stevie. I hope you're watching. Trailer time. We it's going to go on to your existing um, emergency no, service yes. bicycle. We have the special skewer on this bicycle already. It's set up. It's done. It's ready to go. You know what we need? What do we need? The front kickstand. A front kickstand. They yeah. actually make them for, uh, yeah, for uh, touring. Oh, yeah. You get the rear mount, and then there's one that straps to the bottom of your rack. Oh, really? And it's a bit smaller, so you kick it out, and your bike Gotta actually stands like, like that. Where did, you, where did you see that? I, I saw it. All, I saw it online. I don't know who makes it. Okay, we gotta get on. This. I'll find it. Out. We need that. Yeah. Because we're having a big. Pro we started to load this thing up with so much gear. It's tough to hold. It just makes it on that rear kickstand. Wait, wait, wait! Yeah. It can make its own turn. <laughs> it just makes it, and you can imagine if we pack that thing out. I mean, we only got probably about uh, maybe 15 pounds in that thing. It, it wants to pull. It's through. like I'm just touching it, and I just kind of yeah, pull it's, it, it's, it's and it's starting enough. to roll. So, you know, the rear kickstand, we're working on different things. I don't think it being longer would help us. I don't think. But, hey. If it was code, longer. Code requires us to have a kickstand on the bicycle. So, guess what? We're going to put a kickstand on the bicycle. No matter uh, what. But the rear mount is the only thing we can do right now. What we're working on some, we, we need some different designs for that. All right. So, anyway, we got more than what we can carry. Like another 80 pounds, so they're gonna go on the bike. Here it is. So now I was at buck 70, now another 80. I'm at 250 pounds that I can carry on this bicycle. This baby here fits onto a special skewer that's on there. Oops, I'm losing my ah! Losing my mind. Stealing your mic. Uh, what would be a good position? 
position to, to show him, uh, putting this bike that way? Well, I'll, while we attach this on? Yeah. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Then we're going to go outside. Yeah, right. So we might as well just. Oh, it's a good no, thing. No, leave I'm, that open. Uh, leave close? that closed for now. We're gonna look, let's hook her on now. We'll show them how it looks on. Let me put this over here for a second. Let me get that extra cycle out of the way. All right, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. So now this bad boy here, it hooks right onto the rear of that axle. It's a special skewer that comes with the Bob trailer. Uh, the Bob trailer looks like this. Yeah, I mean, Straight, beautiful. yeah. It's a pretty, this is not, it's just packed out with some, again, some uh, packing material. It's not that heavy. Uh, but it just comes straight into here like this. You have to be careful of the derailleur hanger. I gotta put on my glasses. Uh, I think we go on the inside, right? Like that. Yeah. And it hooks into here, and it hooks into here, and you kind of give it a little jiggle. If, you, it, if you're completely straight, it goes on no problem. Yeah. But there it is. Think. And think. This little guy through here, I'll show you on that side what it looks like. Come on, funnel. I can. Come on. Oh, I'm not supposed to go that way. Yeah. Ah, this is fairly new for us, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. There's one now you got this little special pin here. Now this little this little special pin guy here is what hooks it onto this thing. Are you with me, son of a down here? Yeah, I thought you were gonna flip around, but okay, hold on. Now I got my derailleur cable cable here. Yeah. Okay. Does that say Jaguar on there? It does. A new Jaguar made some of those cables. All right, here we go. Bang! This is gonna go through. There's little holes here underneath that. that that go across the dropout. Well, the uh, well, yeah, uh, dropout, right? Yeah. That just holds it in so place from right popping off. Here. This comes through here like this, and then this goes on the, uh, you know what under. I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go under. You're gonna wrap no, it around no, the wire? No. <laughs> yeah. you, 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 you might not wanna do that. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry for the We've only had it for a, a day. It's a break. <laughs> Now she's on there. All right, now here we go with the rest of this thing. It does come with a flag. The flag goes into the ass end, uh, butt end of this thing and it kind of sticks out like that. It sticks out about this high. Do I have to undo this in order to show you? All right. To show you a flag. All right, you guys want to see the whole enchilada. I understand, I understand. Bob, ra ra, system ba, Bugs Bunny, Bugs Bunny, ra ra ra. No. Oh. <laughs> I like Bugs. All right. So. Yeah, yeah. This thing floats out. They should have had. It's only printed on one side. It should be printed on both sides. But whatever. Uh, <laughs> got a, comes. Everything you see comes with the Bob trailer. This special bungee cord that's got hooks in the center. And it's kind of you know whatever. Not, not really it's a special. bungee cord. It's it's a uh, it does have a pretty nice, heavy-duty, large, waterproof I like the uh, bag. Dry, they call it a dry sack. This is, guy in Vegas had with his dog, is this, one this is a little similar to the guy in Vegas with the dog. Yes, it is. Uh, dry bag. Looks like this. Looks like that. Marco's going to fall here and here. It un you unroll it like this. It's a nice it goes seat. like this. You roll it together. We got a bunch of packing again, packing material inside of here. So you hold it like this, and you kind of twist this thing up, like you're rolling up some sushi. I thought you were gonna say something else. And then this goes down to the actual clips that are on here. Ah! You lost your mic too. Yeah, I'm dropping my stuff. Uh, again, now listen to these clips compared to those other ones. You ready? Listen. Wait. Okay, it's just, it's a better clip. All right, got a strap like that. Fatty clip here, same size clip, but just a better quality clip. Uh, got some nice neo, uh, neoprene, I'm gonna, tubing type, you know, so that the straps don't cut into your hands if you put this, max this thing out. Weight-wise, what can this thing handle? The bag? 
Or the trailer. The trailer. The trailer, well, it depends on the shock. Correct. The shock can be adjusted to however many pounds it says. I think it's what? It's like 35, 45. We got it maxed something. out right now. It's um, 75. 75, I think it, it is. is. 75, 80. Is that what it says? 75. Yeah. So you got down here real close and tight. Come in here tight, son of a. Get your head out the way. This guy here, you can pop this, and then you would hit this. And then this can come in. You get me? It can go to any of these little spots here. 70, 45, and 25. Okay, uh, what does that do? It gives you, the, it's, you know, a different lever, so now it kind of smushes a little bit more when it's in the light. You put it out here a little bit farther, and now it kind of, it's a little bit stiffer. That's how she works. You got that rawhide mallet? It's, this has got to get tapped in. Right? Oh, you got a customer? Right uh, there. Well, right. it's... Yeah. You got a customer over there? No, no, it's Ali. This thing's a little sticky right now. That's why I have my rawhide mallet. Does not make any nice mallet. I recommend it. if you're a tool junkie like myself. Rawhide mallet, pretty nice. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's not. Uh, comes back to an alloy wheel. This is a, 20, a 16 by 2.125 aluminum hub, aluminum wheel, aluminum stainless steel spokes, radial dual reflectors, quick release for easy fixing. 4130 chrome molly tubing throughout. It is designed for cargo. Do not exceed 70 pounds. Got a couple of brazon spots here if we were to put something in here. Could that fit another bottle cage? Another spot here. A couple more brazons. We got a couple of brazons in the front as well. Okay. It is made in the Pacific Rim area. Hold on. Hey, wait, 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 let me stand it up. Watch me fall on my butt. Do you want me to? No. Oh, okay. I want to try. I want to pay. I want to be a little Fine, dangerous. I don't care. Yeah, Go really. for it. Everybody was surfing. Surfing you. All right. Surfing. So there you have it, guys. Uh, again, it's rated to seventy pounds. Now, could you switch out the, the shock for something else? Oh, man, you know, hey, the sky's the, you could do all kinds of stuff. You could custom make whatever, but this is stock stuff. This is stock stuff coming from guys, and I think it's awesome. I've seen guys make uh, trailers that were... We got a fan. Steve. Stevie. Steve Solowski. So, uh, he's at a... Uh, he's in the Midwest somewhere. Well, just tell me what the star is, if we're up or not off. Uh oh. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Looks like we might be. It says we're experiencing. Si it, I have the old, the old broadcast is coming back up again. I never get it. Yeah, the, I know it's, it's, it's back to normal, right? Well, it's not. It says sta we're experiencing technical difficulties. Yeah, we'll refresh it again, though. Because look, I got this. Oh, I got that too. Move your camera. There's about 45 second delay in that neighborhood. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's about right. That's about what it is. Okay, so we're back up again. We're back up. We're back up. More comments below. You have to do that right in my brain. Let me see what's going on here. 19. Okay. Okay, back at ya. All right. Sorry, guys. Phew. I know our clock is definitely off on that. We don't know how to set that. We're going to be changing anyway, so it doesn't much matter. All right. Interesting stuff. 
Sorry for the delay. We're back at you. Um, all right, so where did we drop off? I don't even remember. Makita, where are you at over there? We had a little break. Give us a chance to go to the bathroom and whatnot. Oh, I you're was working on that looking down at yeah, yeah. All right. I'm trying so, to. So we got the uh, the Bob trailer. Did we what? It would stop about where I was surfing off of the back of this thing. Is that where we started? Yep. Around there. Um. So now, Makito. Yes. Baby G. Yeah. Uh. Here's what we're gonna do. What's that? This is gonna are you ready? Are you dressed up? Are you ready to get in the back of that thing and sit down? Hmm? We're going for a ride of your, your life. You're going to go in the back. You're going to sit in the back of here. Now, we're not going to broadcast what the young lady weighs because that's a young lady's prerogative. <laughs> I can guarantee you she weighs more than 70 pounds. Yep. <laughs> as tall as us. So we can only, you know. Yeah, so. Exactly. So you're more than 70 pounds. So Baby G, we're going to put a helmet on you. Please go find yourself a helmet. And you are going to get into the back of this thing. If you could get some long, long sleeves, just in case we have to have a crash or a burn. Maybe, maybe, like, a full, maybe like a full leather suit, if you could put that on before you get in the back. Oh, um, you can jump in my, uh, my uh, suit there. Makito is going to be driving this rig. Where are we going? I don't want to go up that ramp. No, we're not going to go down the ramp. We can't. We've got to be really gentle. We're going to just try it out first. And we're going to maybe ride around the park a lot out there. Now, in addition to Baby G being in the back, I'm going to try to balance myself What? onto maybe the front and or in the back so that we're really maxing this thing out. We're putting the young... What's that? Uh, well, then we'll ride around to the back. I, you know, we've got places that we can ride around. We'll ride it over here. Um, how fast? That's a whole nother ball game. But the idea is to ride it without anybody touching now. Oh, boy. I'm scared. Yeah, you're scared? I'm a little scared, too. <laughs> this is going to be fun. This is exciting. Marquito's over here. He's ready. He's, I can see he's getting game face on you. Get the game face on. All right, before we go any further here, we're going to have, we're going to take off. I've Let's waited. take off our bags, right? We're I've waited my up. whole we're life. Kind of, we're kind of just, we're kind of, we're kind of goofy. But it is kind of exciting. I hope you guys are ready for this. The outside portion of our trial. How cold is it? Like, um, I don't know. Not too bad? Yeah. 30? We got that, we got that. We got enough air in the tires on this thing? <laughs> Fart. Nice. <laughs> Some, something like that. All right, we got that, we got that. We're good, good, good. We're all good on everything, right? We're off? nice and tight Can here. I take this off? Yeah, take the flag off. Um, let's be real careful. You got your helmet on. I better put a helmet on myself. Uh, We're going to the back or front? We're going to have to go out the front here. Give me that. I'll put that over here. All right, boys and girls and children of all ages. We have now come to, we're coming to the, to the, to the climax of today's EMS special, bicycle special, commuter special, uh, what, a touring special, whatever you want to call it special. Where the heck did my nose go? You know, while we're getting ourselves set up here and whatnot and what we're doing, uh, anybody see my yellow pad kicking around anyway? You, you know, no, no, here. Put your, put your butt here. Always put your feet out. That's like the best way. If my hips fit your sh too, you're not going to. Just well, that's what's regulated for weight. And where'd my yellow pad? Oh. Heat down while we got the door open. Don't, no, don't be looking at him yet. <laughs> What's that, Tone? What's that? Oh, I got it. I got it. The computer was on top of it. You know, we're talking about the EM. I can EM tell that you're, you're scared. Because <laughs> I, I can't control it. Agency and, and things on this. What are the benefits of somebody going, of an agency doing this? Um, there's so many different things that are going to help 
Um, it's a great option. It's way better than any golf cart or gator. It's better for the personnel themselves, okay? Uh, you're in the public eye a lot more. Come in here. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. It's better, to, you know, you're in the public eye. The public eye is going to see you when you're on a bicycle. And they're going to be, you know, impressed. And, and, and it's going to be, you know, and you're going to gain more respect if it's possible. Um, the respect that you get as a, as, a, as a public servant like that is immense, especially fire department, EMS. You guys are there to help them. Uh, the cop guys, they're there to help you as well. Sometimes they might get a little bit of a bad rap. I feel bad for the cops. Uh, I, I support the cops 100%. Your fire department, your EMS, uh, your, 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 these guys, the park service, you know, personal, you're able to see, able to observe more, and more people see you. Consequently, they're not, it's going to be a deterrent if you are seen more and more out in the open. And a bicycle affords you to do that. We'll get into the organization when we get back. Let's have some fun. Let's go see what happens. All right, baby G, you in there yet? What's that? You already got it going? All right, so baby G, why don't you in the back there and give us a little spin around and I'll get out of the way. Let me open up the door all the way. No, you're good. What's that? I can't hear you, son of a... What, Antonio? It's opened up all the way. It's fine. Oh. You need a mic in the future. All right, here they go. Try to keep your center, keep your weight centered, Allie. Uh oh. Uh, uh oh. Uh, turning is tough. I thought you guys did it already once. Man, that's hard. That's all right. All right. All right. Alexandra, get over here. Let me get in the back of that thing. All right. Are you ready? <laughs> this one's already. Yeah, All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, come on, let's go. Go. Yeah, get out. Keep going. Keep going. Take it to the road. To the road. I'm good. Nice. That worked. Now, baby G, did you see the technique? <laughs> did you see the technique? Tell that, tell that okay. Go now listen. Oh, I can't hear son, but he's yelling at me. Hang on. Can you guys go around back? You want us to go around the back? Well, yeah, because I, I can't even really. I don't, I don't know what you guys are. I had it focused on the road. You guys came in through the front steps. Oh, all right. I'm sorry. Hang on, Al. Hang on, Al. Hang on. Let's go. We're going to go into the back, okay? And then we're going to come around the front. Um, let me get the truck out of the way there, all right? And then you can use both. I'm sorry, because, you know, two of our cameras, three of our cameras are down, so. It's, I'm sorry.
All right, so here we go again. <laughs> Baby G, <We're> gonna <laughs> he's taking the ice ramp in the trailer bike. Um, we're going to go around. Uh, Marco, come around here and give me a pick me up and meet me in the back, Allie. Let me get a drink of water, a quick drink of water. Dun, 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 that brakes are squeaking like a. We got a bad, bad thing. We put mineral oil on here. All right, come around here and pick me up. And then we'll take it to the back. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> hey, it worked pretty good. All right, why? Over the top? No, I'm not going over the top. All right, take me around. The, uh, turn your, go turn around and get me this way, and that way we'll go right around that way, and then we'll come into the back, and then we'll put Alexandra in the back, time ourselves and get ourselves up and running. All right, here we go to the back. All right, you ready? You got one here. It, look, see, I put, my, I put my, my foot here onto here and here. You see? Okay. And then I'm going to kind of give him a little kick as he starts to get going, okay? All right, you ready? Go ahead. I'm ready. And then you stay low, Al. And then if he leans that way, lean that way with him. To the back. Nice. Nice. Uh-oh, we got garbage cans. Yee-haw! All right, baby G. So now your idea, I want you guys to go out and about, okay? And then come back. And then I'm gonna try to get I'm gonna try to balance myself on the front of this thing and we'll see if we'll in this bicycle at the same time. Alright? That's why these that's why these uh, these skids are on the bottom for when you jackknife it. Ah, <laughs> They're pretty nicely made. All right, now, why don't you set yourself up so that you got a straight run here, Makito, so that baby... I hope Child Protective Services doesn't call us on us. All right, back it up, Makito. Back it up, 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 back it up. Uh-oh, watch out. Okay, wait. All right, are you ready, G? I told you how to do it. Now, once you set, get going a little bit, you just got to get nice and low on your knees, okay? It's real simple. Don't make a big production. Don't get all dramatized. Ready, Mikito? Go. Get down low. Get down low. Stay down as low as you can. Now, watch him. There you go. There you go. Learn how to ride with a load. That's important. Stay low, Allie. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, keep going. I'll stay right with you. See, then what I, what I would do is, why are you so scared? I'm thinking about how I'm going to jump on that thing. What are you, are you afraid? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Grab your mic. You think that might be better? Like that? Let's try that. All right, here we go. Oh, we're, we're maxing this thing out. We are just absolutely, get, get, yeah, you knew that was going to happen when you stopped. <laughs> get it on there. All right, Al, are you ready? You're going to do the same damn thing, all right? Yep. So do you, th all right, now hang on. Do you think I should be on here going like this? Is it going to be a bitch to turn? Are you in first gear? I'll hold the back up. I got hair, I got hair in my mouth. All right, you're in the lowest gear now, right? What? We're pushing it to break it out. We're finding out what the hell the problem is. 
what's going to go wrong? That's the whole thing. This is all testing purposes. All right, Allie, you're the one who's got to push, okay? Because I can't push. I can't do nothing. Let's see if, how far we can go. Mark's going to be in my fat chair. I can't, I, can't, uh, I can't hold it. I've got like my neck out. I feel like a turtle up and down. It's kind of hurting a little bit. Are you riding? Oh, my goodness. This is extremely scary. You're talking about scary. I'm not even pedaling. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> I felt like I was going to go forward. That's no good. I got to go in the back. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Yeah, that was, cr that was classic. Let's, uh, Let's try it on the back. The front's no good. All right. I, I don't mean to, you know. <laughs> Where's your belt loops? <laughs> I just want to hold on to some belt loops. All right, are you ready? Let's see if this will work. Oh, this is better. This is better. Are you on, Al? Are you on? Yeah, baby! Where the hell are you going? I don't know. Whee! Take it to the back. We're doing it. We're doing it. Woohoo! Go, show them. We got proof. We got it going on. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the bike man for you. We got. Uh, all right, it worked. It worked. Let's turn ourselves around and go back in the front door. <laughs> Better in the back, huh? When me in the back, in the front is brutal. Just absolutely brutal. We're ready. Here we go. One, two, three. Everybody's in and going. You know what? Once we figured it out, it ain't so bad, is it? <laughs> and we're in first gear. We're not going super fast. We're, we, we, are, we are going. All right. Back up. We're going to go right up the ramp. We're done with this thing. That takes care of that. Baby G, good job. That was fun. That was a definite laugh and a half right there, boys and girls. Woo! Close the door. Pizza. on. How was that? Oh, that was classic. That was funny. I lost my glasses. I don't know what that was. I put them in my pocket. Woohoo! All right. So, oh, I got, uh, I got batteries. Batteries are dead on my mind. Let me get new batteries. Oh, I need a new battery. That's funny. How's your battery doing, Martina? Mine's are green. All right. Time now for a time now for a coffee break. Best show ever. Okay, ten, ten, ten speed says. What's that? Ten Speed says it was the best show ever? He says best show ever. <laughs> Giant bicycle is built to last, huh? Okay, the trailer needs a trailer. Just put a pair of Schwalbe Marathon 28, and boy are my fingers sore. Don't try Bike pulling on another level. Power to the people. Yeah! That was fun. That was a, that was absolutely that was a blast, man. That was really cool. Thanks, guys. That you got some fun. good. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Yeah, that young guy. We're looking us around. around. That's what. Uh, All right. Riding. Fixie will freaking do. All right. I proved the point. Major league. It's rated to seventy pounds. The rack is rated to seventy pounds. Right? Right? No. Yeah. Because 70 pounds and 70 pounds. Exactly. Right? 
Makes sense. Makes sense. Done. Makes perfect sense. All right. Uh, that was a hell of an now endorsement for Surly. Now we need four people Sir, That was a hell of an endorsement for Surly Racks and for Bob Trailers. Uh, <laughs> nice job. All right, um, as we were talking about before, it's better for the personnel being in the public eye and you're able to see more. Um, more EMS, more officials out there is probably definitely less, more of a deterrent to the bad guys. So the more people we get out there, the more we get looking, the better off we're gonna be. You can go out there and chastise somebody for just carrying a backpack. I travel with a backpack all the time. I have paperwork, I have my computer, I have my camera, I have my this, I have that. I don't have a trillion ball bearings and a bunch of nuts and some other things that are really, really dangerous. The more people out there, the more eyeballs out there, the more people looking, the better off we're going to be. So we're all going to be safer by putting emergency service guys on bikes. Better for the organization. Your agency is out in public and is part of the community when you put your agency on a bicycle. What does that do for you? Some of your organizations are volunteer. Some of your organizations work on donations from the public. What better... What, sorry. What, what better place to advertise your agency, to promote your agency, than out in the public. These things are extremely useful. They're going to get the places, parades. There's just, I'm just going to give you one instance. All of your small towns in America have parades. Little Johnny coming home from Afghanistan, God bless him. They have a parade for him coming home in some of these places. There's a lot of people. The roads are closed off. You can't get there. The poor guy that's watching Johnny coming home from Afghanistan because he remembers when he came home. He goes down for a heart attack watching the parade. We've got to take care of that guy. And that's where these guys are coming into play. The rig, the bus, the ambulance, they can't get there quick enough. These guys can. Need I say more? Tremendous fundraising vehicle. It's better for your, organ your personnel within your organization because they're not sitting in an ambulance twiddling their thumbs and thinking about what they shouldn't be thinking about. They're doing their job. They're out there in the public. They're being seen. They're able to get better health. The health benefits from riding a bike. Not just your health in terms of your physical. Your head clears your head riding a bike. The benefits are just astronomical when you start to put emergency vehicles and emergency personnel on a bicycle. Uh, I don't need to say any more. I think it's a no-brainer. Um, that's it's that it's that simple. Uh, today's show was brought to you by Surly Bicycle uh, Components. Their racks are awesome. Uh, I'm very impressed with them. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe on our Twitter, on our Instagram, on our Facebook. Without further ado, we're going to start to have, we're going to wrap up our show. We went on for two hours, but before we go on, we have to have number one <laughs> results from last month's contest, and we need to start a new contest. Uh, so here we go with that. Makita, before we get going with our wrap up and whatnot and our stuff, uh, let's just take a quickie break. I want to disassemble this uh, and I want to get our not if we can, Makita. Okay. Uh, and uh, we'll go from there. Alexander, if you could please help me out here. Get the chair, so. Yep. If you could hold the bike for me, please, Al. I told you today's show was going to be awesome, guys. It really was. Really, I, I think it was. I, I agree with 10 Speed, man. It was one of the best shows we've ever done. This is great. I love it. In the middle of the winter, to boot. If you're into bikes and you were watching us, man, you were watching. All right, we're going to need this. Let's take that foundry down.
You got it? Yeah. Is that Chris's bike? Yeah. All right. So, yeah, keep that to the side for a second. Uh, this was our contest from last month. The contest was that we were going to, you guys were going to guess the weight. It was the frame and the fork. The frame, fork, <coughs> and the crank. Frame, fork, crank. I think that was the handlebars were on? Yes. Yeah. This was on, the railer was on. If you're not familiar with it, the contest is pretty much over. It was over at the first of the month anyway, but uh, you can go back and you can check out. The name of the contest, the name of the video was, I don't know. Uh, it's up on, it. it's uh, up on the screen over here, yeah. It's up on the laptop. Uh, contest Foundry, there it is. The name of the video if you wanted to go check it out was the contest foundry broadax carbon super fan bike bike man for you i well, we got a little over almost 2,000 views on that video and whatnot and that was the actual contest is where you would put your comments before we get into the next week's contest we're going to take care of the old one this was it the contest and the comments were great and i really appreciate it and i love all you guys i loved adam west uh, excuse me adam wheat you're weird but a cool dude. I would have a beer with you. Hey, uh, yeah, I'm weird. Yeah, I'm cool. And yeah, let's have a beer. And you know what? Everybody's weird. That's what makes the world go around. Uh, without further ado, we're not going to mess around anymore. We had one guy that put it right on the bunny by the name of Digger at 10 pounds, 7 ounces. That's what she weighed. He, yeah, exact. He had it exact. It's almost like he had ESP. Um, Digger Odell, if you're not familiar with him, he's been, he's been lurking around, he's been doing a lot of comments and whatnot. Nice guy, uh, seems to know his onions uh, when it comes to bicycle and stuff. Uh, I'm proud to have him as a super fan and as a fan, and you are today's winner. Uh, and uh, you are going to be getting two things, uh, a $50 gift certificate for com, as well as a goodie bag. We're going to need to get in touch with you and we need your address. We also have a special gift from the owner of that bicycle to you. Digger Odell. Uh, we also have another We gotta have more than one winner. We have a runner-up by the name of Matthew Brown with 10 pounds, 3 ounces. Again, it's the closest without going over. Uh, 10 pounds, 3 ounces from Matthew Bradshaw. If somebody has guessed it and blah, 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 and I missed somebody, please contact me. I went through it really quick. Uh, I might have missed somebody. I am going to double check it. But right now, as far as I'm concerned, we got Digger Odell and Matthew Bradshaw. Congratulations from the Bike Man for You and the Bike Man for You team. Uh, if we don't get, if you're watching right now, please get us to an email at bikeman for you at bikemanforyou.com. Your T-shirt size and your address, please. Uh, and we'll be contacting you probably on Monday in regards to that. All right. So that brings us to. This month's contest, as you know, each and every month, we have a new contest. Uh, this is a nice bike. I'm going to go out and try this thing again today. Uh, I'm going to put a little different seat post on it, but whatever. Uh, we'll discuss that later. Um, it's a bit flashy for my taste. A little flashy for you? Yeah. Okay. Old school. Guy. That, that new age carbon fiber stuff, that doesn't... No, it's, not it's cool, but it's not, it's, yeah, not your, it's not your thing. No. I got you. Chromoly. All right, we got to go there. It is another guess the weight contest. Seems to be a running pattern. It's, you know what? Us. It's you know guess the weight is is a nice, easy, simple. It's not doesn't take a lot of effort to put a guess in. You know, it's almost like going up to the lottery machine and playing your craps. But you know what? The best part about our guesses is the fact that you know what? Zero. It doesn't cost a thing. Let's put our board on here. Now, the new Guess the Weight contest is going to be our new specked out EMS fire department like, special operations uh, or anybody else. That, that candy smells pretty damn tasty in there in your mouth right now, I'll tell you that. Um, it's going to be this bicycle right here is what we're going to guess the weight on. All right, before we get going any further, let me get this over here. Son of a, are you with me? 
Here is the bicycle. This is it. It is specced out right here as we see it. It's a giant Talon, 27 and a half, standard stock bicycle. We have done no modifications to any of the components. We have just added to the bicycle. We have added Bike Smart Dually. That's what they're called, right? Yep. Bike Smart Dually pedals. A surly rear rack, a surly front rack. One water bottle cage. One surface, 500 lumen light. A toe peak bracket with the accessory bar installed. A Hornet. Can I press it? No. A rear mount kickstand. Various, we also clipped, again, we want to beef this thing up. We want to prevent anything from coming off of it. We put uh, hose clamps onto the quick releases to the frame to glue them on to make them sure that they're solid. Uh, if you need to take off your wheel, you've got to undo the little hose clamp. Am I missing anything? Oh, a sunlight, uh, uh, the sunlight, yeah. A surface, that was a fraudulent slip. A surface. A APC1. Pump with CO2 inflator. It's a pump slash CO2 inflator all in one. I don't know if you guys saw that. This is kind of nice. It has a uh, CO2 cartridge inside of here. It's, it's not punctured, it's just threaded it's on It's just there. threaded on there to hold its space. And then you can use it with this button right here to be able to Or if, if you run out of CO2 and you don't have the CO2, uh, wow. you can. The way that they state to use, uh, use that uh -huh. is you put it on, you pump it to as far as can, mm -hmm. and then you go and then you use the co2 yeah. to top it off mm -hmm. uh, especially on mountain bikes with these tires being so fat they're taking a lot of air 16 gram cartridge might not handle it you're looking for 20 or more gram cartridges would a 20 gram, uh, would a 20 gram fit in that uh, would a 20 gram fit in here i don't know we're gonna have to try that out okay. but a 16 gram we know fits in here oh, yeah, so yeah, if yeah. You, you know again it, it might off yeah we are getting off topic off on a tangent, my i'm bad. sorry 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 that was all his fault i didn't do it get it all your guesses how do we guess all right it's real plain and simple you've got to guess you can guess right now over the live thing but we're not going to see it so you got to wait until this thing comes up again so you might have to watch it again you might have to comment again and you're going to have to guess for your first time Okay, so please put your guesses on after this show syndicates, which is going to be in approximately two hours-ish, maybe an hour, okay? And it's going to be the weight of what you're looking at. We're missing a rear reflector. Oh, 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 we got a bracket on the back of this for a giant bag. We didn't even go into that. We uh, set up a little small toolkit to go on to here. Uh, and this, that clicks onto there. That's kind of nice. This is a nice bag, but whatever. We'll, 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 we'll. We're not putting that on there, okay? There's no tools in there. All right, are you ready? Are you ready, Makito? Now, Alexandra, do not give any indication of what's on that scale. I won't. Okay, Alexandra, please. I know sometimes you have a problem with, you know, keeping secrets, but this is really, we're not keeping I've done well. I told her not to keep any secrets. That's what you're supposed to, but this is different. Uh, this is a contest. You understand that, right? Yeah. All right. Are you ready? All right. I'm staring at Does the everybody answer. understand what the contest is? I hope so. Do we have any guesses so far? Yeah, we, we do. Are you ready, Makito? You're zeroed out. You're good, right? Zeroed out. The scale does not go that high. This scale doesn't go that high. Does the other scale go that high? No. We, our other scale broke. Which maxed out at 70 pounds. The other scale maxed out at 70 pounds. What's this one maxed out at? 35? What? No, the other scale maxed out at 70 pounds. I know. I wasn't about to say that. Yeah. Give it to yourself, Antonio. Does that one max out at what? Who knows what that one maxes out at? We'll find out. Mm. What? Oh, I can't see. Say it. Okay. That should, that, no, we're going to be close. Watch your hand. Uh, you're going to We might have to go wait. Scale. We're going to find out. Or turn it to leave the board on it and to turn it off and turn oh, it back on. Go home and get that glass scale. No, oh. it's too heavy. It's too heavy. 
You zeroed? Yep. Okay, good. Here we go. Two. You, I, I can't see it, so you're, you're going to have to memorize it. You're good? You got your number? Whatever Mikito, Mikito is the official today. Okay. You got it? Yep. Write it down somewhere. No, don't go. It, no, no, oh. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just. Don't you guys be looking. Okay. You got it? Yeah. All right. So we got ourselves the weight on what the new one is. So there you have it, guys. So please get your guesses up and running. And uh, after we syndicate, please, 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 we always enjoy that. And again, you got, you got a scram. That's my seat. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, again, our contest and the prizes will be a $50 gift certificate to thebikemanforyou.com, as well as a little goodie bag. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy that. And again, a special congratulations to uh, Matt Bradshaw and Digger Odell. Did they see this? I did not. Let me share that with them before we sign off. Thank you very much. If you've been paying attention to the bike man for you and you've been on our Instagram and our Twitter and our so Facebook and all of that kind of stuff, uh, go grab your own chair. Um, the local feeding joint, the local feed bag, the, uh, the, the uh, Bob's Beef and Bun, that's what my late brother-in-law used to call it, Bob's Beef and Bun. It's really called Dave's Bun and Burger. Uh, and uh, Dave's Bun and Burger is a local place here in town. Uh, they always have good food and have great specials on a weekly, a weekly, daily lunch. And they have a placemat that goes down. And we are proud to be a sponsor. And we are right here on the corner. We got our own little. So you know you have arrived. When your, place, when your logo and your company name is on the local lunch joints placement. Just thought I'd share that one with you. Thanks. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's show. Again, it was sponsored by Surly Racks. Uh, we had a good show, I think, today. Uh, awesome Ten, Speed, Ten Speed says it was the best show that we've ever had. Thank you, Ten Speed. Uh, thank you very much, Ten Speed. We, uh, we agree with you. We try to give you the most best product, both most best content. This bestest content this, that we can on the internet. Uh, we appreciate you guys coming in on a Saturday, we, uh, uh, talking, spending some time with us uh, on a Saturday morning. We really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Don't forget to or subscribe. Twice a week, we got videos every single week. Uh, twice uh, videos on Mondays and on Thursdays, as well as our live show on Saturdays. If you're really into the bike man for you, we also go live on Friday afternoon at 5.15. It's called the Tech Happy Hour. And we kind of give a look at what we're going to do tomorrow on tomorrow's okay, show. Yeah. That is on you now. Okay, you sign on with it's your Facebook. Oh, you sign on with your Facebook. Uh, so please, come on over to our Tech Happy Hour. We also have our Tech Forum. Our website. If you got any tech questions, please come on over to our website, bikemanforyou.com. We have so much social media to keep you guys occupied and busy. If you're into cycling, it's enough to make your head spin. So please come on over and check us out. I hope you guys had fun today. Do you have fun today? I have loads of fun. You got anything else you want to add here today? Mm, anything going on? Nah. I think we're going to do some filming here today is what I think we're going to do later on this afternoon. we get some stuff going on our DSLR, some training videos and whatnot. Uh, so, please, hope you guys stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. I hope you guys had fun. Baby G, you got anything? Nope. Nothing. All right. There you have it, guys. We went a little over time today. I'm sorry about that. Uh, tell your wife, blame it on me. Uh, or tell your husband, blame it on me if you're a female watching. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Have fun. Enjoy. Respect. Love one another. And be kind. I want you guys to never fear. The bike man for you is here. Thanks, guys. Take have a great mind. weekend.